Welcome back into the Newport Gulls pregame show. This is the Broadcasters Roundtable. I'm joined by Matt Tonus, the Newport Gulls insider, and of course from the Danbury Westerners, Darren Zaslow. And Matt, I'll start with you. The other night, the Newport Gulls won their fifth in a row here against the Laconia Muskrat. This, this team has everything going right now. This team is firing on all cylinders. Pitching is great. Batting is getting better, hitting better in the right situations. Uh, the pitching was, has been phenomenal this season. Five shutouts so far. James Karinchek has been one of the best pitchers, if not the pitcher, be, the best pitcher in the NECBL so far this season. 15 innings pitched, no earned runs. He did it again for five innings uh, in their last game on Wednesday. This team is playing one of the best uh, ball in all of the league this year. And on the completely opposite end of the spectrum are the Danbury Westerners. And, Darren, there's really no real easy way to talk about this. The Westerners are 0-9 coming into the game here at Cardines Field. Tonight will be the quarter mark through the NECBL season. And a lot of people, if they're not saying it uh, to each other you know, out loud in Danbury, they're saying it to themselves, today is a win or hit the panic button game. It absolutely is. You're early in the season. Unfortunately, the things just have not came together for the Westerners. When you look at baseball, you think of hitting, pitching, and defense. Unfortunately, those three things have not come together for the Westerners. Danbury has led in five of nine games this year. We have seen productivity from this team. It just have has not come together, and no better place than to do it here tonight at Cardinals Field. And Matt, when the Gulls played Danbury earlier in the week, Danbury gave the Gulls one of the toughest games that they've had so far in this early NECBL season. Yeah, they're, the Gulls did not hit well in that game. They pitched very well, and that's really what carried them. Two runs, both because of the hitting of Drew Lugbauer. This game, the Gulls really need to hit better in the right situations, hit guys into scoring position and hit them in from there. You have to just start early and keep building as the game goes on, as they have in most of their home games this season. Darren, you, this is your first year in the NECBL, your first visit to Historic Cardines Field. You see this century old ballpark. I mean, it's it's looming for most visitors coming in here. What do you think of Cardines? It looks absolutely beautiful. Whenever we were passing the water coming into Newport, I've heard from many, many fans in the NECBL, Cardines Field is the place to be. Couldn't be happy to be here and more excited to do the broadcast with you guys. Now tonight, as we've been saying, the Westerners, this is not a win or go home game for Danbury, but it's very close to hitting that panic button if they go 0-10 through the first 10 in this season. It's going to be very tough to climb back in as July and the dog days of summer uh, really follow through. Tonight, what does Danbury have to do to ensure a win? You want to see them get ahead. It's going to be a very, very intense environment here. I heard this place can run up to about 2,000 fans. Uh, we were talking about on the bus how some of these players may get heckled here tonight. You want these pitchers especially to get off to a good start. Pitch to contact. This is a very good offensive team for Newport as well. So you want to pitch to contact. You want your hitters as well to be aggressive. We saw Weisenberg from Stanford, the right-hander from Newport, that pitched in their 2-1 to one win just a few days ago back in Danbury, Connecticut. You want to be aggressive. Controlled aggression is the better word, but you don't want these goals to stomp all over them. Matt, earlier today we had a little bit of rain. This is the first time that Cardinals Field has had use of a tarp for the full season. If this was even last year, we were not playing baseball tonight. No, and the field looks absolutely stunning right now, especially for the rain that came in. The grounds crew has done a great job of prepping this field, uh, despite hard rain for about a half hour here at Cardinals Field field looks ready to play but there are some there is some chance of rain as the game goes on we'll have to look out for that hopefully this game can go a full nine innings tonight people will come in and see the westerners 0-9 this is not a team to really look down upon right now they played the gulls tough what do the gulls have to do to ensure a win win number six in a row here tonight at cardines situational hitting is always important in baseball and the gulls are really starting to hit that stride of being able to hit with runners in scoring position with less than two outs be able to get runs across early on and you need to keep doing that obviously it's kind of it's kind of obvious to say run scoring is important to win but with the way the gulls are pitching right now the only problem right now has been the hitting and it's not really been a problem as much as it is as it is not being able to put teams away early enough in games where the pitching staff can then coast. Who needs Friday Night Lights? We have Friday Night Baseball here at Cardines Field. It will be the Newport Gulls and the Danbury Westerners here at Cardines at 6.30. I'll be on the call with Darren and Matt later on tonight. The Gulls pregame show continues next. <laughs> 